This is kind of the culmination of a process that NC State and the department and a lot of partners have gone through to do what we think can transform North Carolina's economy uh, into a food manufacturing economy. We've been searching for years for processing. Our farmers only make 10% uh, of the item by the time it's at market. And the other part is processing. We can do more around food processing. We haven't even scratched the surface in terms of the economic development that can occur there. I mean, what we're doing here at the North Carolina Research Campus can absolutely take our, our largest industry in North Carolina to a whole new level. And that is going to directly help rural North Carolina because that's where we grow the food. Well, this is going to create jobs, and which is in turn going to create revenue not only for the states, but for the municipalities and counties in which these plants are located in. A pilot plant facility such as the one we're envisioning would provide flexibility to actually scale up, commercialize ideas. Number one, for small entrepreneurs who are looking for facilities that are able to bring them market-ready products. So they have ideas, they have a path, they need guidance, they need expertise, and they need the ability to make something. That's one component of this. The second component is the research and development piece that engages the university researchers and allows us to think about how we can translate our technology at North Carolina State and even our partners here on the research campus into something that is commercializable. And that's the third piece, the multinationals, the large national and international firms that the food industry itself and the equipment manufacturing industry and ingredient manufacturing industry that's not just looking for new ideas, but is looking for centralized areas where they can actually innovate collaboratively, both with faculty as well as with new entrepreneurs. Knowing that we already produce the majority of the fruits and vegetables on the East Coast here in North Carolina, and we're the third most diversified state when it comes to growing crops in North Carolina, and also knowing that we ship out over 80% somewhere else to be processed, this is a win-win situation. So we think this is the defining moment for the future of North Carolina.